On August 12, 1898, in a grand ceremony, President Dole formally yielded the sovereignty and public property of the Hawaiian Islands to the United States. The Stars and Stripes was slowly raised over Iolani Palace. And the Hawaiian flag was brought down for the last time. But few Hawaiians would witness the ceremony. Most spent the day at home behind closed blinds. On the actual day of annexation, the queen shuttered herself at Washington Place, surrounded by her court, by the princes, by her ladies-in-waiting, and they had a solemn picture taken. On the other side at Iolani Palace, there were sharpshooters pointed out. There was still tension in the air that something might happen. But when the Hawaiian flag was lowered, it was said that it was cut into small little two to three inch ribbons and given out as tokens of remembrance to the sons and daughters of the missionary families so that they could keep those as little tokens of their great victory over the Hawaiian kingdom and the end of the tyranny of the Hawaiian monarchy. Liliuokalani would live for another 20 years 